Hello guys, welcome if this is your first time to Morning Chats and welcome back if this is your fourth time. Let's chat about how to navigate not having a passion. <laughs> You're in your 20s and you have no passion. Maybe you're even in your 30s. We're gonna discuss that today, all about what it entails to have a passion, to develop a career, something entrepreneurial, or anything that has to do with just getting your life on track to the vision that you possibly see yourself at. I have stressed the importance of building a career based off of what you love and what you like to do. I feel like for many years, there was a time when a lot of people did jobs that were not their passion and they did it for money. And honestly, that is so okay. There's a lot of times where we need to do things and make sacrifices for the greater good of our families or of our lifestyle and things like that. But I actually navigated this journey of developing my passion about five years ago where I said to myself, I don't ever wanna do anything that I don't love doing and that includes my job. So many of you guys actually comment on a lot of my financial freedom journey stories that you do not have a passion so you don't know how this would ever apply to you. So I did some digging and I realized that it's actually quite normal to not have a passion and I'm gonna talk to you guys today Today about how you can navigate that, how you can develop and find your passion, and why it's okay to not always know what you want to do with your life. So if you're stuck, if you're feeling down about your life, you feel like you maybe are not ahead or even on track with everyone else, I want you guys to keep on watching because you are not alone. And I have a lot of insightful stories to share with you guys today. So please stay tuned and keep watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and make sure that you guys come back every Monday and turn your post bell notification on so you guys can be here for morning chats because we get into it. All right, let's get into the video. I know my own personal story has inspired a lot of people of just me following my dreams, nobody really being on my side when I was doing it and actually having a very difficult time getting to the goal. I felt like a lot of people were getting to their goals a lot quicker than me. That was probably my own self negative talk talking. But honestly, I felt like I was taking a lot longer than most people to achieve what I wanted when actually I realized that there's a lot of you who actually are aren't even doing anything that is goal driven or passion related because you haven't found one yet. The story that I want to share with you guys today is the story of the billionaire mogul, CEO and founder of GoPro, Nick Woodman. Now I don't know all the logistics about his life and I'm sure you guys can just look it up on YouTube after this video, but essentially I actually watched a few videos about him because I was intrigued about his success story. He was somebody who was somewhat of a creator and inventor, wanted to develop and create so many different things. And I feel like it just didn't work out because a lot of the times we start things and they just don't happen for us. Even if we were once maybe very passionate about this thing, it just wasn't how our life was supposed to end up. And he ended up just going on a full journey of surfing for an entire year, I believe. I'm, quote me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was a year long surfing trip. And he decided that he felt like it was necessary to develop a camera that you can have with you whenever you're doing activities such as surfing or skydiving or anything that you can't have an actual physical camera in your hand for. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring up this story to you guys today was because I don't believe that Nick thought that he was going to be a billionaire from making waterproof cameras that go on people's bikes or surfboards. Why would he have known that? It just kind of happened for him. And a lot a lot of the times we don't know what our passion is until later in life. He was approaching his late 20s. He didn't have, you know, it all figured out yet and that is okay. Being in your 20s is time for exploration. You're allowed to try and dibble and dabble in different things. You maybe wanted to be an art teacher right out of high school and now you want to be a lawyer and maybe in two years you're going to want to be a dentist. It doesn't matter and it's okay to change your mind. Let's normalize changing our minds. Social media gives us this perception that everybody has their life together, whether it's they have financial freedom, they have their dream job or career, they know exactly what they want out of life. They bought the house of their dreams, the car of their dreams, they have the family of their dreams, and they know everything about their life and they are just so in touch and in tune with themselves. But the truth is, most people are not that self-aware. Most people aren't that in tune and in touch with themselves. And it's okay to find out more and more about yourself. 
Two years ago, I was a completely different person than I am today. Things that I maybe wanted then, I don't want now. Granted, I do have my career and I love it, but I've even shifted things that I talk about and I've shifted my way of thinking and the way that I have had a view on life. Maybe I wanted to have a ranch two years ago and now I want to live in an apartment. Maybe in three years, I'll want to move to New York City or in five years, I'll want to move to California. These things all change. And the reason why I'm bringing up such random things is because It's okay to not know what you want to do with your life, with your career, or anything like that. I think right now is time for self-exploration, finding out more about yourself. What are your morals? What are your beliefs? What do you care about? What do you not care about? What are the things that you want to contribute to society? This is what's going to develop a passion. If you do not have a passion right now, that's okay. And I'm going to give you tips on how to maybe find a passion if you don't know what it is already. The first thing you have to do is get out there and start doing things. And what I mean by this is you can't sit in your house, lay in your bed and say, hmm, what's my passion? You have to get out there and try different things. I knew YouTube was my passion because I used to talk to myself in the mirror and pretend that I was doing a YouTube video. Literally, I would sit there and go, so I'm going to brush my hair and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do, and I would do it every single day. So I knew, okay, if I actually had a camera in front of my face, this is something that I can actually do as a career. But Now, personally, I have found passions in different things and maybe, just maybe, I can make them into other jobs or side hustles. You need to try different things. If you maybe want to be a florist, go out, buy yourself some flowers from Whole Foods and create a bouquet and see if this is something that you like to do. Sometimes it takes doing hobbies and doing things like even going for a bike ride or getting out there and talking to people and finding out what other people are doing is a good way to discover what you like and what you enjoy. The GoPro guy had no idea that he was gonna create a GoPro. He literally went surfing, realized, wait, I need this and created it and now he's a billionaire because of it. And this is not my point to say that we're all gonna become billionaires and inventors, but it is me saying that I don't think that 10 years ago he knew this was gonna be his job, career, passion, whatever you wanna call it. He had no idea. It takes getting out there, doing it, and acting on it to find out what it actually is. My second tip is to stop stressing about trying to have it all together. There are people in their 30s, 40s, 50s who do not have it together and they end up getting it together and it's fine. If you have been following me for a while, then you already know how much I adore Gary Vaynerchuk. He's one of my absolute favorite entrepreneur, businessman, motivational speakers. I watch him and I can cry every time I listen to him speak because it's just so profound, the things that he says. And I do believe that he said that he didn't know, you know, what he really truly wanted to do until his 30s. And look at how successful and amazing his life is. And there is no rush. There's no rush to get married. There's no rush to get your career together. There's no rush. I would suggest instead of rushing to uh, appease the masses, rush to please yourself and By rush, I mean take as long as you need, but just make sure you're doing it every day. I don't want to encourage just sitting on your ass and not doing anything. I want to encourage living life to its fullest and allowing it to maybe make you develop loves and desires for things that you never knew you would have. If today you're feeling a little stumped because you don't know what you want to do, you feel rushed, you feel berated, you feel like everybody's doing something and you're not, Who cares? Let it go. It's not true. There's a lot of people who are still figuring it out. For the simple fact that I'm making this video today means that there are people who actually don't know what they want. And to find your passion is to do things every day different, whether you love them or you don't. Try things out. Try new things. Embark on different journeys. Embark on different hobbies. And you will eventually find what you want to do. And let's just say, you know, all else fails and nothing really feels like a passion. Well, guess what? Maybe you can find passions in other things. Like maybe supporting your family becomes a passion of yours. So you get a job and maybe it wasn't your passion project job, but supporting your family is your passion. So this is something that makes you happy every day. Or let's just say you love money and you're passionate about money. Well, then start making money because that's where your passion comes from. It doesn't always have to be, I'm passionate about making bouquets of flowers or I'm passionate about doing YouTube. It could be as simple as I'm passionate about being happy. I'm passionate about making money and I'm passionate about having a family and I'm passionate about buying a house. It could be other things that you can be passionate about that end up driving you to do other things that support that level of passion. Let's normalize not always having it together, not always knowing what we wanna do. It's totally normal. And on this fine morning, please do not kill yourself over things that you don't know 
that you want. It's okay. We need to let that go. You know, social media is fake. At the end of the day, people, you know, put their highlight reels online. So if you're comparing your life to somebody else's, completely stop doing that because it's ridiculous. It's not always true a lot of the times. And focus on yourself because one day you're going to wake up and your life's going to be so freaking magical. And you're going to say to yourself, wow, I just did, you know, what I needed to do for myself every day. And now look, here I am and I'm living my best life. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. Let me know down below what you're passionate about. And if you're not passionate about anything, let me know what you're doing to help encourage more happiness into your life. I would love to hear it. And if you guys are enjoying morning chats, please leave me some topic ideas that you guys want me to talk about down below so that I can film them for you. All right. I will see you guys next Monday. I love you so much. Have a beautiful morning and yeah, let's go out and get passionate. Or if we're not, let's just go out and do something that we love today. All right. Have a good day. Mwah.